Hey guys, I'm Ariana. If you're new here, if you're not, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And you can go ahead and hit the post notification bell so you're notified every time I post a video, which is every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Today's video, I am recreating Ariana Grande's look in her Rain On Me music video, okay? So I've seen this look trending and it is actually pretty simple and I thought I'd give it a shot. It is actually a really beautiful look. It's very simple, but it is still a very big statement look. So I think I'm going to go ahead and try it out. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So I'm wearing absolutely nothing on my face right now. And I'm going to do my whole entire face, including the eye look, together. There are going to be a couple of obstacles. Just one, basically. Um, my eyebrows, <laughs> okay? If you guys have been following me, or if you guys have been subscribed, or if you guys have seen any of my other videos, um, particularly my eyebrow videos, you would know that my eyebrows are very different or annoying or hard to reshape at all and I kind of want to transform myself into her somehow but her eyebrows are straight and skinny and my eyebrows are skinny but they are very much arched so first things first I'm going to go ahead and moisturize my face I'm going to be using this Saturday Skin Waterfall Glacier Water Cream and I feel like it is very hydrating and my skin could use some of that my skin has been misbehaving lately and I'm very over it I'm just going to apply an even layer all over my face add some hydration and some moisture to prep my skin for this transformation actually gonna put my hair back so it's not in my way and this is me in middle school also going to hydrate my lips with some Vaseline because I'm just feeling crusty and dusty right now hmm so for foundation today I'm gonna be using this new to me cover girl clean fresh skin milk foundation this is relatively new i just actually picked this up last week from walmart i wanted to get my hands on it a long time ago but i could never find it but i finally found it and i got the shade medium tan number 570 and i feel like it matches my print my skin pretty well i've heard very good things about this foundation my opinion on it is pretty sheer but i feel like it is like a really nice smoothing blurring layer to your face if you're trying to go for like more of a natural look so I don't want to go too crazy because I'm really not going anywhere it's also why I didn't really put primer on either and then I'm gonna go in and blend it out with my big kabuki fluffy brush kind of regret not putting on primer but it's okay so the next thing I'm gonna do is put on some concealer so I'm gonna be taking the super stay concealer from Maybelline I actually just got this along with the foundation and this is pretty new to me as well I've been wanting to try it but I could never find it but I found it at Walmart last week this is in the shade sand stable which is number 20 which is the shade that I use for the Maybelline fit me concealer I believe this is what it looks like it comes in like a two which is interesting and then it also has an applicator at the end and it's like a spatula applicator which is convenient I like it I want to say that this shade is a little bit too light for me but I really didn't have that much options as like everything in Walmart is completely sold out I was surprised to even see it there on the shelf but the super stay foundation is one of my favorite foundations so I really wanted to try out this concealer I'm gonna take my wet n wild foundation brush and we're just gonna blend this out so the ariana grande look looked pretty matte to me she wasn't super glowy but her skin still looked really flawless so i think i'm just gonna go for like a matte flawless base and then of course this statement eye which makes sense because you don't want to have too much going on if you're going for like a really bold eye look i really should have put on primer don't be like me my eyebrows really need some help too which is why i feel super ugly right now but we're gonna continue on <laughs> So right now I'm going to go ahead and set my whole entire face. I'm not going to do any cream contouring because I don't want to look too glowy. So I'm going to take my Airspun Translucent Powder and I'm going to go ahead and set my entire face. I'm going to take my Real Techniques setting brush and just grab some powder and then just set right under my eyes. 
I had a little phase of using brushes completely on my face instead of using sponges because I was in dire need of cleaning my sponges and then I realized my sponge. My favorite sponge was at the point of no return so I got used to only using my brushes and now I've become lazy to even get up and go wet them. I got a new one. My favorite sponge of all time is the Real Technique sponge. I got a new one from Walmart. I'm so happy. It's the last one they had and I got my hands on it but I just don't even want to get up to go wet it. So we're going to go ahead and use brushes. So I'm going to take some powder and I'm just going to set the whole entire rest of my face. I really have no idea what I'm going to do with my eyebrows. I'm just avoiding it at this point. So for bronzer, I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker Bronzer. And this is in the shade Caramel Cutie. Contour my face just a little bit. Ariana's face does look pretty soft, so I'm not going to go too hard with sculpting my face. But I'm just going to go ahead, add some warmth and some structure. And this bronzer is 100% matte, so that's exactly what we're going for. So I'm just going to bronze my face as usual. I'm going to go in with blush with my BH Cosmetics Nude Blush Palette. These are all 100% matte as well and I'm going to go in with something pretty soft like a really soft pink and I'm just going to put it right above my bronzer. Alright, so this is the part that I've been dreading. We're going to go ahead into brows now. What are we going to do here? I've tried soap brows before. I've tried gluing them down and it just does not work. It looks so gross. Let's see what I can do here. I really don't know how I feel about them. I feel like when I try to make them straight, they become thicker and I really hate how that looks on me. Like they really look like caterpillars right now and I don't like it. But we're gonna proceed with the tutorial. So now I'm gonna move on to the eye makeup. So I, I'm just gonna leave my lids bare. I just have like some concealer, some foundation, and some powder on them. She doesn't really have her anything really on her lids except for the liner. So I'm gonna go ahead and start working on that. But I'm gonna be using a cake liner product. I'm not gonna show you guys it because it's really gross. This is my special effects paint palette. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the liner. So it looks like it starts right here and then he just made like a wing start here actually oh this is so scary tickles okay so we're gonna make the wing up to here also one thing with ariana grande's eyeliner it always goes up rather than straight um because her eyes are kind of round so making it up i guess just works with her eye shape better so we're gonna try and soup it up then I'm going to go in here and we're going to make this part roundish and then we're just going to connect it like this. Okay, that's basically the rough sketch. I'm going to bring you guys in a little bit closer. All right. So this is the rough sketch. I'm going to go ahead and go over it a little bit more just to make everything look pretty even and make sure that the lines look nice and symmetrical. So the liner was on there pretty thick on her eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and do that as well. Go in one more time, make sure it's as white as possible. And make sure the edges are nice and clean. And if anything, I'll just go over that with some concealer. All right, I think I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up the edges with concealer in a little bit. But I also wanna say that I like to use the e.l.f. angled eyeliner brush when I'm doing graphic liner looks. So it is angled at the end. Um, and I like to use cake liner because it just makes it so much easier to work with and it's just so much easier to draw on. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead with the other eye and do the exact same thing. Also keep in mind that the liner goes all the way to under the whole entire lower lash line. So if you are doing this, you wanna start from the lower lash line as opposed to the outer corner of your eye. So we're just gonna start here and then we're just gonna bring it up into a wing. Okay, that looks pretty symmetrical. Then I'm gonna start here and just map out. So 
So I'm just going to go ahead and thicken it up so that they both match. Okay, I think that looks great. I'm very happy with it. Fantastic. So now I'm going to go ahead and just line my under lower waterline lash line. So it is lined completely and we're going to go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to be really careful and stay literally right under the lash line and I don't want to drag it down too far. This is literally making my eyes water. This is so hard. Oh my god. Don't do it. I'm going to try to thicken it up a little bit and make it look even. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. All right, we're going to do the other side. <laughs> it's so hard. I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. Ooh, my, my eyes aren't even that sensitive. It's just like it tickles so much. I think, I think we're good. I'm just gonna leave it like that. Far away, they do look like clean lines, but this was a little bit difficult. I'm gonna take my Wet n Wild Mega Liner in the shade Black. So I'm gonna start in the middle like I always do, drag it out to the end, and now we're just gonna go ahead and try to line these two up. Stops right about here, right before the end, and then we're just going to fill it in. And then I'm just going to do the rest of the eye. Her liner wasn't like super thick. So we're going to leave it like that because I want to make it simple. I'll do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and do the lower lash line with the black liner. I'm going to take my NYX eye pencil in the shade black. And we're going to go ahead and line our lower lash line our waterline and try not to make it a big fat mess i think that's fine i think we're good i'm gonna throw on some lashes and i'll be right back okay so i threw on some lashes and some pink lip gloss and i feel like i, I look really crazy i did something pretty short so this is the final look and i don't know how i feel about it i really look like i look scary like i don't even like pink lips on me either but this is me middle part and all okay so this is the final look i'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a close-up all right guys this is the final look i really hope that you enjoyed it if you haven't already please don't forget to subscribe before you leave and you can give me any video suggestions that you would like to see from me don't forget to leave a like down below and i will see you guys in my next video bye